Hi, this is Chris with a weekly tech tip from Option 5 Media Inc. Microsoft has just released two new versions of the Microsoft Office Suite. The first being Office 365 and the second being Microsoft Office 2013. Two big differences between the two exist and they've really stacked it up for one version versus the other. Now traditionally you've been purchasing Microsoft Office possibly Home and Student Edition or what's called Teacher Student Edition. That allows you to have Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and OneNote. Office 2013 Home and Student Edition is what I'm going to cover first. It covers your basics like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. This is what you're typically used to purchasing and it costs about $140 which is still the normal price. However, in this version, you can only install it on one computer. Traditionally, you could install it on three separate computers. This is not the case any longer, so there's not as much value in this product as there was before. And where the value does come in is the newest version, Microsoft Office 365. It's an online, cloud-based solution, and basically, they're really sweetening the pot on this one. They're giving you Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Publisher, Outlook, and Access. They're basically giving you the full suite of programs. Traditionally, if you were going to be buying this software, this would be over $400 in programs. And a lot of them most people don't use, but adding Microsoft Publisher and Outlook to the suite really sweetens the deal for most people. Outlook is used for your mail programs, and Publisher is used for your programs of desktop publishing, making cards and letterhead and such. Now where this really gets interesting is they've changed this up by being an online cloud solution. They're giving you the software to install on up to five computers and to be used by up to five people. Now what this gives you is great value considering the program is only $100. But here's the catch. Whereas before you were buying the software one time and you could install it on up to three computers, now you're purchasing a yearly subscription for $100 and can install it on up to five. It's something you're going to have to balance out and decide, is this worth it for me or not? If you just need the typical programs like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and you're only using it on one computer, the $140 deal probably makes more sense for you. But if you're a family and have multiple computers you're installing this on, the $100 per year really is a great deal. Also, both versions will give you storage space on what's called Microsoft SkyDrive. It's an online storage facility, similar to Dropbox if you've used that program, and it allows you to save your files as you work on them. Now, if you're purchasing the 365 version, you get 20 gig of storage space, and if you're purchasing the 2013 Home and Student Edition, you only get five. But still, either one gives you a little bit of storage space uh, to use. Dropbox is still a great program and should be considered as well. Well, that's it for this week. If you have any questions, give me a call. My number is 757-482-9400 or send me an email, cspiker at option5media.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. It runs $140 and it contains the... It has... Why can't I speak? Oh, to use the extra programs as well and not want to have to pay the extra money. The $100 a year prescription. Mmm, oh, I was doing so well.